Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own Hogwarts acceptance letter. I'm sorry about some of the quality of this video. I don't have a screen recorder downloaded onto my laptop and I didn't know which one to download so I just decided to film what I was doing on my laptop with my phone. So I typed up the Hogwarts acceptance letter and the list that comes with the letter and I'll leave a link down below in the description box so you can save them to your computer along with the template for the envelope. And once you save them to your computer, you'll want to personalize the letter and envelope. And to do that, you'll need to download the following fonts, and I'll leave links to the fonts down below in the description box. So to download the font Hogwarts Wizard, you're just going to click the Hogwarts Wizard image here, and then it should pop up on the bottom of your web page. Click that, and then there should be one little thingy in the file. Double click that, and then hit install, and it should install to your computer. I already installed it, so I'm not installing it again. The next font you're going to download is called Magic. Again, just click there and it should pop up on the bottom of your web page. If it doesn't, just search your files for it and you should find it. Go ahead and do the same thing as the first font and install it to your computer. And the last font you're going to download is this one here. And just going to click the download button here. It should pop up on the bottom of your web page. Click it. And there's going to be two fonts in this one. You can download either one. They're more or less the same. I just downloaded the first one. Then you're going to go to pickmonkey.com and I'll leave a link to it down below in the description box. Upload your Hogwarts acceptance letter. Go to effects and then click the draw option. Choose a white color and go ahead and erase the your name part of the letter. To add your name to the Hogwarts acceptance letter, click the text option and you'll find the font you downloaded when you click the yours option. Then search for the magic font you downloaded. If you're having trouble finding the font that you downloaded, you may have to close out of your browser and restart everything again. And if you're still having trouble finding the font or it's not loading, then it may be your web browser. I'm using Google Chrome and it works on there. The size of my text is 36 and obviously the font color is black. Then I just typed Miss Dino, which is my last name, and I'm a girl. You could put M-I-S-S -S if you want to, but I prefer M-S, or you can put M-R if you're a boy. And don't forget the comma. And then you're done. You can go ahead and save it to your computer. Next, upload the Hogwarts envelope, which you'll find in the description box. You can save it to your computer, upload it, and then you're going to put your name, where your bedroom is in your house, and your address. The majority of the font that I used is Hogwarts Wizard. And then I changed the color to a dark green that I liked, and the number for that is 057200, and hit the enter button. The text size that I used for my name is 96. Then I just typed my last name and uh, rotated it diagonally because the envelope template is at an angle and if you want your text straight when you cut it out and fold it and whatnot, then you have to rotate it diagonally. Then for the next row, I did the same color code. I just made the text a little smaller by using the size 64. Since I'm doing Harry's address, I'm just going to write the cupboard and then I'm going to change the text font for under. The text font I'm using for the word under in the cupboard under the stairs is Aqualine. I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, oh well. And on my pick monkey, you can barely see it, but it's there it just looks kind of weird like that and then i typed under you know rotated it and it's the same text size which is 64 and the same color code then to finish this row i'm going back to the font hogwarts wizard and in the same text code and text font i'm just writing the stairs and a comma the next row i just made the text size a little bigger with the size 72 and then i just continued writing Harry's address. And I'm using the same text size, text color, and font for the next couple of rows. Once you're done adding your name and address, go ahead and save it to your computer.
To print everything out, I used parchment paper instead of regular paper. And I got this at my local office supply store for around $7. And you can totally use regular paper and stain the paper with tea and coffee. And there's so many tutorials on the internet showing you how to do that. So you can Google that if you choose to do it that way. But I just wanted to save some time and use parchment paper. When you have everything printed out, go ahead and cut the envelope out. It has a faint line where you're supposed to cut at. Once you cut out the envelope, it should look like this, and now it's time to fold the envelope. There's faint lines on the envelope showing you where to fold. Don't worry, because once you fold it, that crease kind of hides that faint line showing you where to fold it at. Now that it's all folded, I'm going to take my glue stick and glue everything together. I just glued the sides of that middle flap and you can see where I'm gluing in the video. Make sure you don't glue the pocket to the other side. Just do this and try to unstick it if it does end up sticking to the other side. And when you're done gluing, go ahead and fold that top flap down. Then to fold your letter, you're just going to take the envelope and put it below the letter. This is just going to help guide where you should fold at. And just take both sides and fold it towards the middle, just a little bit smaller than the envelope. Then take your letter and place it on top of your envelope. This is just going to help guide you where you should fold at once again and make sure to fold it a little bit smaller than the envelope. Once you're done with that fold, you're just going to fold that top piece there down on top of that. Make sure it fits into the envelope and then you can go ahead and fold the list letter the same way as well. Go ahead and place both letters into the envelope. And to seal the letter, I already have a DIY letter sealer video up on my channel and you can go back to that video to see how to seal the letter. This is what it looked like. I used air dry modeling clay and a toothpick to carve out the H on it. I made a new stamper for this video because that video was a year ago and I don't have that stamper anymore. This time I used baking clay because I didn't want to wait 24 hours for the clay to dry. I also added a border around the H for this stamper. If you watch that DIY letter sealer video, I put the hot glue directly on the envelope to seal it with the stamper I made, but this time I put the bit of hot glue on baking parchment paper because it's easier to paint the seal with without worrying about getting paint on the envelope itself. And since I used baking clay this time, I let the glue cool just a bit after I squeezed some out of the hot glue gun. And then I stamped it and let it cool completely and then pulled the stamper off and then I unpeeled the seal and painted it with red acrylic paint. Once the paint dried, I hot glued it onto the letter. But since this is my letter, I just glued it to the top flap because I want to open it when I want to. And that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful into making your own Hogwarts acceptance letter. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments so I can answer them. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you tried this DIY out and want to show me, post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag PotterThings so I can see. Please subscribe to my channel for more DIYs and future videos, and thanks so much for watching!